Oh, hello and welcome to Seoul. I was just reading this book uh, and that's very interesting. It's about uh, stories that happened in Baghdad in the 13th century. And at that time Baghdad was a great center for science and mathematics. And I was going through this um, very interesting story where um, a peasant was really proud of uh, the, um, the intelligence of his, um, his three daughters. And um, the lord um, of this peasant got really, really sick of that. So he decided to test the intelligence of those three women. And he said, well, here's our 90 apples. You have to go, three of you, to the market with those apples. You, Fatima, the older one, you will have 50 apples. You, and the second one, whose name is um, Kunda, you will have 30 of these apples. And you, um, what's the name? Mm, Sira. Sira, you're the younger one, you will have only 10 apples. The game is to sell all the apples the same price because you're working together. And um, you can change the price if you want, but everybody always has to sell the apples the same price. For instance, if, you, if Fatima decides, she's the older one, she decides. If uh, she decides that uh, she will sell the apples for like, um, I don't know, um, seven apples for one dinner, well, you will have all of you to sell seven apples to, for one dinner. And then if she decides to sell like um, three dinners for one apple, three dinars for one apple, then uh, you will have to do the same. So the question is, one, the older one has 50 apples. The second one has 30 apples. The last one, the younger one, has 10 apples. How can they make the price in such a way that they, at the end of the day they sell all the apples and they earn each of them the same amount of money? That's my question for today. Bye bye and uh, see you next time for next question.